welcome to this video. The question I want to have a look at in this video is have we actually discovered planets in multiple star systems? Well, the answer is yes. One of the more recent ones has been KOI 5AB. And this is a planet about half the size of Saturn. And it's in a system with three stars. So what does it actually look like? What's the configuration there? How, what does its orbit actually looks like? Well, the exoplanet itself, so 5AB, is orbiting the star 5A. So that goes around the star. It's on fairly close orbit. And then you've got the two central stars, so 5A, 5B. They're orbiting a common center of mass and basically on an orbit themselves. And then you've got this outer star, 5C, which is orbiting around the outside of all of them. It's an interesting system. Let's imagine what the orbit would look like of just a planet in that system. So the planet itself takes about five days to orbit the star that it's actually on an orbit around. So it's on a fairly close orbit. It's you know relatively close to that particular star. Five days for one orbit is not a very long time. The two central stars orbit one another about every 30 years. So again, those stars are still reasonably close to one another. And then around the outside, that third star orbits the central two and the exoplanet about every 400 years. So that's on a much wider orbit as it goes around the outside. So it's quite interesting to have a planet on the inside there orbiting the two stars with this outer one going around. But it hasn't been the only one the only triple star system to thought to have actually had a, a planet in it. So this is another one. This was HD 131399AB. That's quite a long name. But this was thought to have a planet in it that was orbiting one of the stars. But it's since been discounted, actually, because follow-up observations has shown that this is a background star and not actually a planet. But if it was a real planet, this gives you an idea of the orbit it would most likely have had which is actually the, the red circle here. And the blue ones represent the, the orbits of the actual stars themselves. So what you've actually got here is two stars close to one another on the right hand side that are orbiting one another. And then you've got another star that orbits around the outside of those two. And it's the planet that's orbiting the outer one, or was thought to be orbiting the outer one. Now, if it was, one quarter of the whole orbit of that planet would have be experiencing day so the whole planet would be in daylight for one quarter of its orbit so have a think about what the days and the seasons might be like on some of these unusual planets in these multiple star systems you can have a period of time where the entire planet is in full daylight and that's quite bizarre really and if it was a real planet it's not thought that this would be stable it's thought that it may actually be ejected from the system, which is not that uncommon for planetary systems. Planets can be thrown out of the system due to instabilities. And this particular one, because you've got the extra stars there, there's a lot more things going off. It wasn't thought to be particularly stable, so it would likely have been ejected anyway. But I suppose the more curious thing, actually, about finding planets orbiting these multiple star systems is where did they come from? Did they form there? Were they captured? Was it a planet that just happened to get too close? It had been ejected from its own system and then it was captured. But this is an image. So on the right hand side, you've got an image of a disk around a triple star system. So this is a much younger system and it's still under the process of potentially forming planets. And it's a twisted and warped disk. And on the left hand side, you've got a computer simulation which shows you a bit more detail what it would expect it to look like. But the point here is that if we've got these planet forming disks already around these triple stars, there's a possibility that these planets can form in situ. They can form where they are. So they're not maybe they're not that rare. But it's interesting to see that we've seen evidence that these planets might be able to form in these systems as well as actually finding them already there. Thank you for watching.